Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's topic for presentation is styloglossus. It is one of the tongue muscle. So let's see the styloglossus. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the videos. Kindly press the thumbs up button if you like this video. Kindly watch the full video. The tongue has got the following parts. It's the tip of the tongue. Two lateral borders of the tongue. The upper surface of the tongue is also called dorsum of the tongue. The lower surface of the tongue will be called a ventral surface of the tongue. In this tongue, there are two groups of muscles, extensive muscles. These are the muscles beginning from one or the other bone of the skull, ultimately reaching the tongue. It alters the position of the tongue. And intrinsic muscles, these are the muscles within the tongue, which will alter the shape or the contour of the tongue. They are called intrinsic muscles. So what are these extensive muscles? They are palatoglossus from soft palate to the tongue. Styloglossus from styloid process to the tongue. Genioglossus from the superior genial tubercle of mandible to the tongue. Hyoglossus from the hyoid bone to the tongue. So these four are the extrinsic group of muscle on one side. This is on the left side, same thing will be there on the right side because tongue has got a median fibrous raft. So palatoglossus, styloglossus, genioglossus and hyoglossus. Now come to the actual topic styloglossus. If someone asks what is styloglossus, you should be able to tell it is one of the extrinsic muscle of the tongue. So this is styloglossus. See from the styloid process, this is a bone, okay, just below the external auditory meatus of the temporal bone the one process it is like pen like process tip of the pen will be there like that it's called styloid process it is going to the lateral margin of the tongue okay so styloid process to the tongue styloid glosses glosses means tongue styloid means styloid process okay so the location of this is from the within the oral cavity actually between the tongue and the styloid process, that is the location. Origin, as the name suggests, from where it arises, from styloid process. Specifically speaking, from the tip of the styloid process and the anterior surface. Sir, why from the anterior surface? Why means the styloid process, for the styloid process, where is the tongue? See, it's anterior and inferior. Therefore, even the muscle is coming from anterior surface of styloid process, the inferior portion is nothing but the tip. So it's coming from the tip, as simple as that. So it's coming from the tip and anterior surface of styloid process. Insertion, as you can see, it's to the lateral border of the tongue. So lateral border of the tongue, specifically speaking, at the junction between oral part of the tongue and the pharyngeal part of the tongue. The oral part of the tongue is anterior to the ductum. The pharyngeal part of the tongue is posterior one third of the tongue. So at that area, it is attached. So what is the action? You can see. Either this entire skull can come towards the tongue or the tongue can be pulled upwards and backwards. So what is happening? Yeah, if you are told the tongue pulls upwards and backwards, that's the correct answer. The entire skull can't move towards the tongue. So therefore the action is contraction of this muscle pulls the tongue upwards and backwards. That is like retraction. If you imagine one ship after docking, the door will get retracted back like that now slided back or retracted or pulled back like that so it helps in retraction of the tongue which has been protruded which has come out now to eat the food uh, it will go back into the oral cavity so that is action so simplest way the styloglossus action will be retracts the protruded tongue come to the nerve supply all the muscles of the tongue are supplied by one nerve this nerve is coming underneath the tongue so we call it as hypoglossal nerve or the 12th cranial nerve. Okay. So this cranial nerve supplies all the muscles of tongue. There is always exception in medical field. So this exception here is palatoglossus. This muscle coming from soft palate to the tongue is not supplied by hypoglossal. It is supplied by accessory nerve that is 11th cranial nerve. All the muscles of soft palate are supplied by 11th cranial nerve. Palatoglossus is a muscle of palate also. Palatal glosses, muscle of tongue also. But here the tongue muscles are mainly supplied by hypoglossal nerve except this palatal glosses, which is already supplied by 
11th frame in order for the accessory in order. Okay. In summary, there are four extrinsic muscles. The styloglosses, just now you saw from the tip of the styloid process towards the tongue. Styloglosses. Which part of the tongue? Lateral border of the tongue at the junction between anterior to third and posterior one third. Next, palatoglosses from soft palate to the same area. That is lateral margin of tongue, junction between anterior two third and posterior one third. Next, genioglosses from the superior genial tubercle of mandible to the dorsal surface of tongue. Hyoglosses that is from the hyoid bone to the lateral margin of the tongue. So the action of this styloglosses is can you remember? When it contracts, tongue will go back or it will go forward. So called backwards and upwards is correct. That means retraction of the tongue, the backward and upward movement of the tongue, thereby helping in deglutition or swallowing. Okay. Like and share this video with your family and friends. Press the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are not yet done and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the videos which I upload. Thank you once again to watch my video.